Can beavers drown? Honest question. Because I think we're about to find out. Oh, yeah, we're about to find out if beavers can drown. And welcome back to Ark, where today we're going to be going and taming up three creatures. And I'm just looking for ones that are just over at least 50, all right? At least over 50. So the creatures that we are going for are a beaver, a dodecarus, and an anki. And the beaver's name is actually Castorotus. It's just, when you say Castorotus, it doesn't roll off the tongue like beaver. So, we're going to get a beaver. Um, but, as you guys may notice here, I have extended the platform here. As last time you guys saw it, it was just the three wide, or the four wide, I believe, actually. It might have just been three. But I've expanded it a little bit, added on some triangles on either side, and I've also made this. Now this is of course the upper structure where we're gonna, you know, eventually turn this into the house. This is where we are going to be living. Now of course it does have some uh, technical things that we need to still work on like the flooring uh figuring out how we're going to get up to that level and then of course up to that level because i want to do try try and do three levels and i kind of want to make that a tower i at least want to go another five high most um or at least six most six most four at least six at most so i kind of want to try land in the middle there but well, let's go find us some creatures here to tame up. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm just flying over to uh, Hidden Lake. We're going to check and see if any have spawned there. And if not, we're going to follow the river back down in towards the Redwoods. Because they can spawn along that river and then the... Was it the ponds up by the Redwoods in between it and the volcano? Those are good. Uh, or the river there in between the Redwoods and the volcano, not ponds. Uh, those are good places to look for them as well. It just seems like they tend to spawn there more. Um, and this is just me going off of uh, ARC Survival Evolved knowledge, ASE knowledge instead of ASA. So, hopefully all this is, you know, still somewhat similar. Okay, I'm not seeing any beavers right off the bat. Um, actually, I am. If I would have stopped to look more closely. Level 20. And where is... Level 55. You are on the board. Um, I just saw another one, unless it's a piranha. That's a piranha. I'm just... Damn. I honestly thought a piranha was a beaver. Um, I also just think I saw an alpha raptor, too. Um, so our option here is the white one. That is above 50. Um... He needs to come back up so I can grab him. He's in the water now. I'll grab him. I'll go kind of, I guess, scour along. Here now. Where'd he go? I lost track of the beaver. I mean, that's the level 20 there. Oh, wait. Where are you? Are you my guy? Yeah, you're my guy. We need a landing game and some stamina. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to carry you along with me. If we don't find a higher level one... You know what? How about this? Because I believe you're safer here in this water. Alright? Because this is your home. You'll go in the water if you get attacked. The raptors can't attack you. So, I'm just going to leave you here. So we know that there's a level 55 here. I'm going to go see if there's any higher ones along the river. Okay, uh, I'm not seeing any Castorotus along this river yet. Um, it might also be because I haven't loaded in hidden just yet. But, I mean, this river looks completely different. Like, I mean, we got a waterfall here. This here, actually, you know what? I recognize this place. Oh, I remember this place. 
if you guys don't know, my very first play or my second attempt to play through, my very first one was a fairly good one. We only got about 10 episodes in and then my computer died. Like I had a situation where I went out one day. I didn't know it was gonna rain. And where my computer was, it was positioned in a very bad place for when it rains and I left my window completely open like fully and it got essentially downpoured on Gigantosaur. oh that was a giga all right nice and well that that does not bode well for any electronic device a load of water at all let alone an active turned on computer so everything was gone everything destroyed then my second one I built a base there where we just were, and it was a very nice one. And, uh, well, the way we lost that one is I accidentally loaded up the game one day and didn't realize that S Plus was updating, so it loaded up the game without S Plus. So everything was destroyed, including all the cryo fridges that had all my stuff in it. I'm also scratching the hell out of my head right now because I have so much on me. And I see beavers. Now these beavers though, I don't know their levels. Beaver, show me your level. 85, yep, you're a winner. The only thing that would win is this one being nine. Yeah, no, we're getting that 85. Here, we'll check out this green drop. Make sure everything's clear. So we're gonna have to fly back to base. Yeah, it looks like everything is. And... I'll take you. Yeah, we're good. That was, I was just sketching out there. We don't need any thatch buildings. I need water. Oh my. Oh my. Uh, uh, here what we'll do. Oh my god. <laughs> I just did that. <laughs> okay, at least they're not alphas like the last one. I have had too many close calls with raptors. You might... know. Okay, you're not my level 85, so I'm going to eat it. That gets me some pelt. Now, where's that 85 at? Do we got eyes on it anywhere? I mean, we got a dam right down here. Now... Maybe hitting the dam would not be a bad idea. Okay. RG, can I land you here? I can. That's not their dam, is it? I'm just sketching out and thinking it is. Yeah, that's not the beaver dam. Um. Where did that other beaver go? I swear there was an 85 here. Found him! Got him! So we're gonna head back to base now. Alrighty, for who, those who wanted to see one, here's a drop that's coming down. They look pretty cool when they're coming down. They're a little jittery. Oh, do we want to watch it deploy? No, because I don't want to run out of stamina while we're just sitting here and, you know, fall in the water. Y'all remember that scene from, uh, Jurassic Park 2? Yeah. Real, really having that moment right now. There's a Rex down there somewhere. And all I was hearing was the trees getting stomped. <laughs> Just looking back, there's trees falling down. Is he chasing me? I feel like I would have seen another tree collapse by now if he was chasing me. But that was like... 
I'm like, what's going on down there? I look down, there's just like, boom, boom, boom. Like a tree on the left, tree on the right. They're just falling down. It was like some of the like, oh my God. You know that, like the scene from Jurassic Park 2 where they're up in the, like the tree canopy and then the like Rex walks by and then uh, what's his name repels down and goes to the RV where the other two are like taking care of the baby T-Rex. That scene, like, it was like one of the, it was like that, like, it just seeing the trees fall down, it was epic. Okay, now, so this is probably going to be the dumbest way to tame this, but, drop you there, land you here, hit E, passive, now... Honestly, I believe as long as we keep you out of the water, we should be fine. Ole! God damn it. <laughs> I need you to run back onto land. Can beavers drown? Honest question. Because I think we're about to find out. Oh, yeah, we're about to find out. Beavers can drown. Um. It's oxygen is not dropping. Which. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Can. Is it safe to tame a Castorotus underwater? I don't know. I don't know if this is a safe thing to do. Because I like, I, I'd hate to like go away and then find out like, oh, guess what, buddy? It's going to load in and re finally register it's underwater and start drowning. I don't, I don't think it will. is taming in progress Castorotus I don't know where this guy is but we should probably uh, enable right, so that should auto track right boom right, oh I should probably just realized I was sitting there underwater I was probably about to drown I didn't even look. Alright, now we got you on the map. As long as... Shoot. I might have to chill here with him because of his... 4-4 four -four meter. Or I might be able to head up this mountain, find a decent dodec, and call it. Where they're, With the dodecs. We're gonna go get an Anki. As well. Um, I'm gonna put... Five narcotics in you. Uh, on you. Not gonna give them to you yet. But we're gonna go check on top of this mountain. Okay, so if the Castorotus' torpor falls below half, I'm fall I'm flying straight back as fast as I can. Um, so we're not gonna go too far though. We're gonna just head to the top of this mountain. Look for a Dodec. Maybe an Anki. Uh, there's a lot of. Argentavis is oh my that there's one that I saw that had blue wings oh my god do not get one's aggro but yeah that one looked pretty cool uh, so we're gonna just like look and see if we see anything here actually if I remember uh, somewhere in those ruins like from two episodes ago there was an Anki I know Bonk. God yeah there's there's nothing up here for us. Um, yeah, there, there might be an Anki somewhere in these ruins, but there's nothing on top of this uh, mountain. Uh, yeah, no, don't worry about what's up there. We, we, we should not concern ourselves with this mountain anymore. Uh, it belongs to someone else. It, uh, it has its own owner. So. Okay, I think I'm going to be heading back to my... Oh, there we go. And it's a 120. Yep, we're taking it. And it's probably a good thing. 
because I need to start heading back to the Castorotis. Because it needs to be given some narcotics. Now, I do believe there should be an Anki around here. Okay, I think I found an Anki. This... Oh, I found two Ankies. Here. I need a land and get stamina anyways. So, let's just make sure the Dodec lands with us. Alright, what do we got? We got three Ankies. Um, 25, 80... All right, you're the one we're going to come back for. Where'd my dodecarus go? My dodecalicious. Thank you. Okay, luckily for me, it does not look like that is far at all. That was actually a fairly close flight. I think about maybe a minute and a half. So I can drop the dodec in the base, quickly give this guy some narcotics. Then what we're going to do here is knock out the dodecarus. Keep him out of the water. If he starts running into the water while going unconscious, uh, we're going to have to wait for him to get back out of the water. Now you... Douche, 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 douche. Douche, 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 douche. Just because you went so low. Okay, yeah, he's gaining Torpor nicely. You... Boosh. Come on, come here. I need you after me. Luckily, a dodec will probably roll up into a ball before he goes into the water. I just also realized that. It's the Anki I'm going to probably have to worry about. And let's make sure you do not hit any of my stone walls. Because I don't want to have to spend a whole time remembering I have to go repair stone walls. This should be a fairly quick knockout, I'm pretty sure. This is probably the safest one as well. Good thing the Castorotis was probably the most would probably been the most difficult one. Here, just in case my game's la my game lags to the point it crashes, let's quickly I'm gonna quickly get a save in just in case it does crash. I think you're running. I think you are. Pin me. I gotta stand. It. There we go. There we go. I have no clue what these guys eat now. What berries are their favorite? You, I'm gonna give another five, and then I'm gonna go up for the Yankee. I don't trust you. Thank you. Now let's go back for that level 80 Yankee. That guy is going to be our metal. He's going to save us so much. Actually, before I forget, let me... Uh, taming in progress. Dodec. Thank you. Dodecalicious. Bring you up as well. Boom. Now let's go after the Yankee. Okay, I got the Yankee. We're going to fly back to base now. Because the Castro is losing Torpor. Okay, so what we're going to do, hit the Castro with another five narco, narcotics, and then we're going to come in, knock you out. You know what, we might have to hit you with ten again, because you're getting so low. I don't trust it. Yeah, you're going to get ten. Eat. Thank you. Now those should all just in any second now. Now the Dodec is starved up pretty good. You should be starved up really good, yeah. So I'm gonna hit you guys with berries as soon as I have this guy unconscious. And then we should be good. Boom! First shot. Now you're on only a level 80, so you should take less than the Dodec did, ho hopefully. Now if I just keep walking in a circle as well... Are you go un going unconscious? Okay. Uh, I guess you just got ultra confused there while from being shot in the face. Uh, thank 
here we go. Just so that way you're all popped up and I can just look over at you and see what's going on with you. No. So now you should have plenty of medjo. I think that's what they take. I'm actually going to go look it up real quick on what a Castro looks and eats. Arc, Castrotis, boom, pop up, pop up. And uh, superior Kibbler crop. So it really does not matter what berry I give you if I do give you guys berries. So I'm just gonna here. I think Ankies take those. So I'm gonna give you Mejo because those are actually, I believe, the best berries out of all of them. So I'm sorry. This is all I have for you. It's gonna destroy that taming efficiency, though. Or maybe it won't. Look at it. It might last. You actually survived quite a bit there. You actually got a quite a bit. Um, so, I think I'm going to give you another five narcotics. Then, I think we're going to call it good with you. Now, I'm going to go give this dodecarus these green berries. I don't know if the green berries are the good ones or not for them. We'll find out. Uh... Here we go. We'll get the green ones. See what this does. Okay, you're eating them. Just very slowly. But it's not it's doing about the same as the purple ones were. So I guess I'm not even gonna worry about starving you up because these guys aren't. So I'm just gonna give you a bunch of the blue ones. There you go. Yay! This should go by pretty quick. Now, I wasn't expecting to get many levels on these guys as well, because I don't got the best kibble. Kestrotus, though. He might get pretty decent levels. You get 59, it looks like. You are going to get 39. So, yeah. As long as I can keep you guys unconscious. Okay, guys. So, I got enough here for the Castro saddle, and I do believe... Do decorous saddle. Thank you. And Kylo, I'm short on fiber, so we should be able to get the. I hate you guys. You guys make the worst freaking noises now. I tamed this guy just because he was flying around my base, and I thought, "Ooh, that green one looks pretty nice." Now he makes the most horrific noises that scare me. Like it's. Mmm! Like, they terrify me. I, I'm tired of those noises in my base. Also, I don't know why I'm using my hands to grab fiber. I need this tool. It's the best thing I could use right now. Uh, weapons. Uh, melee. And what do I need? Wood and more metal. Got it. Wood. Do I have raw metal? I do. Uh, I'll burn it off a thatch. It won't even cook fat. It won't even cook long enough off a of thatch. I need some of. Do I? Am I out of wood? Oh my god! It's like a. I I am out of wood. But see, this is this is why we have the Castro. All right, the Castro is gonna help us so much with that as soon as he's up. Okay. But this is why he's important. Just the fact though that we were able to get. An Anki and a Dodec that were in our requirements above on just this mountain that nearly by was pretty awesome. So, I mean, we did find immediately uh, Castorotus that was technically in my requirements because I, I did say, I want one that's above 70. Alright, luckily I did get one that was technically above 70, but I lowered them all to be wanting a BLO above 50, but that was just in case I couldn't find anything above 70. That's why after that first one, I said, let's leave it there. We know we have one that's good and it's safe. Let's go see if we can find a higher level one. And then we did, which was just perfect. 
also for you that you guys that want like a nice good shot like from the base from over in this corner like look at that that, that is what we have built so far this is our home all right this is my home i've built so much oh i'm going to be building so much more as soon as all this is available um i did do a little thing though you may notice over here uh that island has been ripped up or the wood structures on that island have been ripped up now i also notice i have some pests nearby you know i do consider these guys a nuisance so oh my god there's three of them i missed uh, there's a shark in the water as well. That's one. Okay, let's, let's go up here. I missed, dang it. My game is lagging a little bit because there are a bunch of sharks in the water nearby. I don't know why, it just seems like... Like, look at this. There's three of them right there. And then they, then they ate the bird. Jeez. Uh, you know what I could do? I could probably, if I could find a high level one nearby, is one of these days, I could lead one through one of these gates, lock the gate behind them, and tame them and they're trapped in here. You know? That'd be a pretty good case scenario. I missed. I missed. I, let's let's stop. We're just wasting ammo at this point. Go check on the Castro. Castro just needs to eat one more time. Uh, Anki's almost halfway. Dodex almost halfway. So yeah. But we'll get the Castro and then we'll go start eating more up there. And then we should be able to get all the stuff we need. Okay. So the Castro is just tamed up. Um, I also just bumped up our lighting quality a bit. Just because I felt like it. You know. Um, I left your saddle back in the... Back in the base. Come on. We'll go get it. Oh, I hate the noise you guys make. It makes me feel like there's something attacking the base. Alright, but we got the Castro now. This is awesome. So we got a, har a wood harvester. You should be perfect for that. I do believe as well that you do count as a smithy your inventory right yeah it does so let's if i can go out here close the gate and now what we'll do is we'll run around and we'll go get some wood okay uh i'm running back to the base i'm pretty sure i just saw an aloe but i don't want to lose this guy first day we have him so do 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 book it book it book it I never heard the aloe, like, come after me, so I think we're good. But just, ugh, we left a trail of footprints. Look at that. That is, ugh, I didn't realize I turned, did I turn on that setting? Hold up. Do we have footprints turned on? Oh, we do. Uh, we can turn off footstep particles, though. That would pro that's probably what's causing some lag. There we go. The decals are alright. The decals are enough for me. But yay. Alrighty. Uh, I don't think either one of you guys is going to need narcotics at all. You were the only one that's going to need narcotics. That needed narcotics. But, look at this. So we got a bunch of seeds while we were out there. We also got a bunch of rare flowers, which is awesome. Um, I do, know, do not have my mod anymore for... Uh, I also should get close to my mic. I'm like chilling right now. I'm way back. But yeah. So. We got a thousand wood there. But we got a bunch of seeds there. I no longer have my mod either that gets allows me to grow rare mushrooms and flowers. Which honestly that was a little overpowered. I ain't gonna lie. That was totally overpowered. Uh, here what we'll do is this is split in half and then split half okay and then boom i'm going to go shoot that thing all right 
Hate it. My own beaver scared me. The, my own beaver scared me. But I'm tired of that thing. I hate the noises you make. I hit escape one too many times. Oh, why is the game lagging? Let's save. Something something just didn't feel right about that. But my own beaver scared me. Like, I, I was like, I just came down, I aimed, and then poked out came its head. Like, like you know, scared me. So, at some point, I guess the Anki bugged out here. And so I've been sitting here staring at my Anki, which is tamed. Waiting for it to tame, but the taming things have broken. I mean, you're at 90%. Alright, so you're almost done. Hold up, let me... Yeah, there we go, now it's fixed. Oh, jeez. I can't believe that happened. So I was sitting up there, like, watching that, minding my own business, playing Warhammer Tactics on my phone. And then it's just like, hi. We're here. Sorry, had to make sure, had to fix that. It was bugged. Um, ba boom, got the Dodex saddle as well. Now, let's go see if we can, well, you know, ride the Yankee. Yay! Alright, now the Anki here, we're not going to use it exactly today. Uh, but technically, this guy is going to be used for metal. But, I, you know, I can show you what we use for him. He'll give me a bunch more flint than I will stone. So, I, technically, he's a flint gatherer. So, if I need flint, I can use him to gather flint. But the Dodex, the one for the stone. Uh... I think we can get a Therry for Thatch. Uh, but Mammoths are probably the best thing for wood, I think, overall. Because you got, like, it's just massive and you can haul so much with a... You can haul so much wood with a Mammoth. Okay, the Dodak just tamed up. As I was opening up its inventory. Hi there. Welcome. Let's get you off this. Here, I just want to untrack both of you. So boom, that's a dodec. Now you know what? Also, this is a perfect time to show off this. Now this is the the torch, right? We've got the nice light, all that from it. Now this one's also a really nice one here. It is an ascended torch with 500 almost damage and almost 500 durability. Well, equip that torch and hit right click. That torch is now on my belt. Now, again, I believe if I hit right-click again, I can take it off my belt. But this is a torch with 500 durability. Do you understand how much, or just how good this torch is? Now, again, I could also run up, melee things with it, light them on fire. Because it has 500 damage. It's an ascended torch. Alright? We're going to get a helicopter on at some point in this series. And we're going to be definitely 100% keeping this torch to uh, grind hopefully 100% sex successfully and make it into uh, well you know the ultimate thing with crafting skill and all that but yeah hopefully we can just make more of them and have a save like just a saved copy a blueprint stowed away somewhere for if it ever ever if it ever gets lost but yeah it's basically like a torch, or like a flashlight now, that you can strap to you. Now, I, like, you know, was it? It's like a glow stick. You can attach it to you. But now we can ride it, and it, again, it's still on my belt. I can hit five, I believe. Take it out, put it away. Now it's removed. But yeah. And then again, we got the dodec here. And again, hit right click on the dodec, and you go into the rolling, rolling, rolling mode. And then, of course, 
Dodec only gathers stony from rocks. And stone is best thing for building base for me right now. Because I really like the look of stone and wood mixed. Because look at that wood roof. Now, in hindsight, I think what I should have done is like up there, like above the wood pillars. Should have gone and turned that into wood. Like reversed it out and all that. Kind of like how, uh, here I can show you it hopefully. Like this. Where it looks like that. Where we invert it. Um, actually, that's one of the wrong pieces I'm looking at. Um, here. Down here would be a good one to look at. Oh, yeah. But we have to go out to the side, though. See there? Like how it is? Like it's inverted. It's facing outward. Like that. But yeah. That's what I thought would have been. Uh, my dodec is still following me. That's nice. Come on, buddy. You were never supposed to come out this way. But yeah, anyway, I think that's going to be it for this episode. So if you guys have liked, please, again, leave a like and subscribe. Um, and if you do feel a little extra and you've been around for a while and you just like my content, um, I am planning on opening up a server here, but we have a goal for my members first. So yes, we have a goal of hitting 20 members before I open up an ARC server. That is just because for the lowest amount for an ASA server is 20 people. So, again, we need to hit 20 members before I open up a server. And, yeah. So, yeah. Leave a like and subscribe. Uh, become a member if you'd like. And, yeah. I'll catch you guys later.